Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Everybody is talking about mRNA technology. It is all the rage these days, especially among the medical establishment and lots of big Western governments. This is seen as the future. And it is astonishing when you think that only three years ago, none of us or barely hardly any of us had heard of this particular technology and its use in medical products. Nobody was talking about it. I actually made a video not so long ago, that link is down below, talking about an article from 2017 that was talking about Moderna trying with mRNA products and the various concerns that existed at that time. Now fast forward to 2023, mRNA is seen very much as the future. Of course, we've all been talking about it in the context of the pandemic virus over the last couple of years. For those of you who need a recap on exactly what mRNA technology is, mRNA is basically a genetic material that is injected into the body to make the body's cells basically instruct them to produce a molecule, in this case a protein molecule, to elicit an immune response. That's what mRNA technology is. Basically hijacks the body's cellular protein making machinery to produce a particular protein with a medical goal in mind. In this case, eliciting an immune response. But it's not just the pandemic virus where we have to think about mRNA technology because the medical establishment, as I said, is really banking on this technology being the future. And I want to share a few articles with you in this video. So here we have a very recent piece, Universal Flu Jab based on mRNA technology to be tested by National Institutes of Health in the United States. And this is very interesting because the current flu jabs are what we call more traditional jabs, eliciting an immune response. And if we switch now to an mRNA based technology, my thought is that currently across healthcare institutions in the United States, flu jabs are mandated. So will we also mandate flu jabs if they switch to an mRNA based technology? That is the question. Cancer is of course one of the most devastating illnesses out there. And we had this recent piece which was widely published. Pancreatic cancer jab shows promise in small trial. And here was a trial of an mRNA product for treating pancreatic cancer. Apparently there was initial promise. And it's not just infectious diseases and cancer for which big pharmaceutical companies are now targeting mRNA technology. Here is a very recent piece in the New Scientist. mRNA trial shows promise for these therapies to revolutionize medicine. They are targeting a range of diseases. So we move now from mRNA, a buzzword, to another buzzword right now, artificial intelligence. Who isn't talking about artificial intelligence right now? How is artificial intelligence potentially going to be used for mRNA technology? Take a look at this. Here we have a piece in Nature from this month. Remarkable artificial intelligence tool designs mRNA jabs that are more potent and stable. So from humans, the logical next step has to be animals, both domestic and farm animals. And there's been a lot of talk about this. I don't think any rollout of mRNA technology has been officially confirmed as yet. But we had this recent statement from the state of Texas. This is from the Texas Department of Agriculture, a statement talking about mRNA technology in livestock. And they are not confirming that it is being used, but they are saying that they are looking closely at the situation. And of course, we all know that this has been a bonanza for pharmaceutical companies. Over the last couple of years, they have raked in vast profits. We're talking about hundreds of billions of dollars. Yes, hundreds of billions, not millions, billions of dollars. One of the most profitable therapeutics in history. They are all over this. And of course, there has to be a lot of government buy-in as well for these particular products. We have this piece here from several months ago. Moderna finalizes a 10-year agreement with UK government for mRNA jabs manufacturing center, a large manufacturing center. And we all know that this technology was mainly used in Western countries. For the most part, India and China didn't utilize mRNA technology, but take a look at this. This is a recent piece as well. Everest debuts $130 million mRNA plant with aim at Chinese market dominance. And my understanding is that mRNA products have now been approved in China. 
And we all know what the big pharmaceutical companies and what industry and big business is saying. Here's an article from Forbes Business with mRNA technology. Who are the most future ready pharma companies in 2023 to make a lot of money? Because of course it's all about business. So I'm making this video because many people think that all of the talk about mRNA technology over the last couple of years is behind us. But it is not behind us because huge swathes of the medical establishment and even governments are banking, banking being the operative word, for this technology being the future to treat a wide array of diseases. And you all know my own thoughts and beliefs on medical and healthcare freedom, informed consent and patient autonomy. Everybody must be free to make their own choices. There must never be any coercion that is completely unethical. And there must be full transparency. That might be asking for a lot from the pharmaceutical companies, from the government. Full transparency so everybody can make their own decisions, the best decisions for themselves and their families. Based on full data, understanding the benefits and the risks, we're simply talking about good ethical medicine and people making informed choices, respecting patient autonomy. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online course and my uncensored platform. Those links are down below. Remember, unfortunately, huge swathes of the medical establishment are completely and utterly corrupt. And one of the best things you can do for your health and your family's health is to take charge of your own health. Do everything possible. Make the right decisions every single day to stay as healthy as possible so that you don't need mainstream medicine or doctors. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again very soon.